Let's get some perspective from Helen Thomas, who joins me from Oxford. She's the CEO and founder of Blonde Money, an economic consulting firm. Helen, I want to begin with the optics of President Trump's state visit to UK. How is this playing out in British media? How, how are people reacting? I mean, according to President Trump, um, you know, all these anti-Trump protesters are small numbers, and he called it fake news. Yes, indeed, and it has been kind of a washout, not least because of the weather, as your previous correspondent mentioned. But I actually think it's more than that, and that is that with all of the Brexit mayhem and the exhaustion that we have suffered over these last three years, where it's still a live debate, we still haven't left the European Union, people are just fed up. They are sick and tired of uh, politicians not listening to them. I think everybody just wants to have a nice summer holiday, forget about it, and hope that in the autumn they'll come back and re be refreshed and everything might start to be a little clearer than it is right now. Even before President Trump's uh, visit got, under, uh, got underway, he tweeted from Air Force One with some rather insulting comments um, on London's mayor, uh, calling him stone cold loser. Today he called him a negative force, not a positive one. Let's listen, and then I want to get your reaction. Well, I think he's been a uh, not very good mayor, from what I understand. He's done a poor job. Crime is up, a lot of problems. And I don't think he should be criticizing uh, a representative of the United States that can do so much good for the United Kingdom. Uh, we talked about it before. He should be positive, not negative. He's a negative force, not a positive force. And if you look at what he said, he hurts the people of this great country. What do you make of what President Trump had to say? Is Sadiq Khan, in fact, a good mayor for London? I think he's been considered to be doing fairly well. Yes, there have been some increases in, for example, knife crime. Uh, but generally speaking, you do not hear significant amounts of criticism towards Sadiq Khan as mayor of London. I think, uh, actually, that that comment obviously says more about President Trump, which I think is how most British people look at this. You know, that kind of language is pretty unusual in our political culture. The Brits have a tendency to be try to be polite about one another, even though, of course, there have been uh, comments made back towards President Trump himself. But I think this is more about uh, Trump's ego and how he responds to those he looks at as his enemies. He seems to like to rack them up and knock them down, and that's his kind of style. I think, really, most people in Britain probably just sigh and say, OK, that's how it's going to be. You know, we have our opinion on our mayor of London. It will get decided the next time there's an election. And really, it's just a silly kind of war of words that doesn't really matter. Helen, let me move on to the substance of discussions uh, between these two leaders. Britain, of course, is still part of the European Uni Union, so it can't really negotiate a bilateral trade deal with the United States. And, of course, Theresa May is on her way out. So how much could they really accomplish on trade in these discussions? Very little. You're quite right that technically with Britain still a member of the European Union, we are still bound by the European Union's treaties on trade. Of course, this is a huge topic uh, which will, uh, you know, be batted around for, for many months and years to come uh, in terms of what will Britain do once we are outside that union, who can we strike trade deals with. We're not even sure of the uh, terms and under which we can do that. But I think it is still very important that President Trump and Theresa May made the comments they made because it signifies the direction the countries want to go. You know, there has always been this special relationship between the US and Great Britain. It's quite clear that it suits both parties to emphasize that right now. And although Theresa May is on her way out, there will be a new leader, a new Conservative Prime Minister in the months to come. Favourite is still the excellent Boris Johnson, as your correspondent mentioned earlier, who Mr Trump seems to favour. So I think it's important for the, the direction of the relationship that they stand up and they make these kind of commitments publicly, even though the detail will take many years to thrash out. All right. Helen Thomas, live for us in Oxford. Thank you so much.